Okay, question number four is a vectors question. We've got two vectors in um, the unit vector form, which I don't like working with. So I'm just going to convert those to um, column vector form. I just find it easier to read them uh, in this form. So two, one, three. You don't have to do this. This is just personal preference for me. And it says show that they meet and find the points of the point the coordinate of the point of intersection. So to show that they meet, we if they meet, the x component here has to equal the x component here. Same for the y's, same for the z's. So we can write down that one plus two lambda has to be equal to six plus mu. That two plus lambda has to equal eight plus four mu and that zero plus three lambda has to equal one minus five mu. So we've got three equations with two unknowns. I'm gonna take two of the equations, I'm gonna take the top two, I'm gonna multiply this by two first. Um, so that's gonna be four plus two lambda, just to make the, the lambdas the same so I can eliminate one of the letters. That's gonna be 16 plus 8 mu. So I'm going to take the top two, I'm going to take um, this, uh, sorry, this one away from this new one that I've just written down. So if I subtract that, so I'm ignoring three for now. And um, that's going to give me three equals 10 plus 7 mu. Um, so 7 mu must equal minus 7. So mu is negative 1. If mu is negative 1, we're going to look at equation 1 or 2 to find lambda. So if I put that into, the, into number 1 again, we've got 1 plus 2 lambda equals 6 take away 1. So 2 lambda is equal to 4 and lambda is equal to 2. So if they intersect then these two values of mu and lambda must work for number 3. So we're now going to check for consistency in number 3. So if when we use um, the values that we've worked out for mu and lambda if the left hand side equals the right hand side then we then they do intersect so we've got 3 lambda equals 1 minus 5 mu so if i substitute 2 in for lambda then i'm going to check that's going to be 1 plus 5 that that's true which it is so they are consistent so they do intersect And we also need to find where they intersect. So they will, in and we can do that either by putting in lambda is two or mu is minus one into either one of these two. It doesn't matter which one we use. So um, let me just take this and copy it so that I've got it down here. So we're using, um, lambda is equal to 2, the point of intersection is going to be 1, 2, 0 plus 2 lots of that, so 4, 2, 6, so that's going to give me 5, 4, 6. So that's the position vector of the point of intersection, the coordinate is 5, 4, 6.